Hey guys, it's Katie here from Bella Creativa and I am doing another video today on another page in my Memoria uh, mini album that I've been making. So thanks for joining me for another page. So I have designed these SVG cutting files that you can upload to a cutting machine. I use a Cricut Explore Air 2.0. Uh, and I believe that they could also be used on um, Brother Scanning Cuts and Silhouettes. Um, so um, I will put a link um, in the description box below if you'd like to go to my Etsy store and take a look at those. So today I'm going to do an, another page. I'll just show you the paper that I've been using along the way. I keep forgetting to do that. So I bought these sort of mini packs of scrapbook paper from Kaiser Craft. Um, this one's Treasures Moments and this one's Always and Forever. And there's only 12 pages in each of these packs. So I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't have enough um, to do the album. So I had a quick look to see what else I had that might work. And I had a few pages left in this paper pad, Floral Romance, that I thought could work okay. So I've picked a few of those to go in here in the mini album. And then I've also got this paper pad, Pen and Ink by Kaiser Craft. And I've picked a few of the neutral kind of papers out of this one to also um, use in the album so that I don't run out. So they're the papers that I'm using. And these are the cutting files that I'm using. And I'll start by showing you what I've cut out for the page today. So I've already cut out all of my pieces and they are already scored by the, um, by the Cricut because I put in my scoring tool. So it scores all the, all the folds for me. So I've cut it. Um, it's been scored, I've just burnished it and then I have distressed the edges and I'm using vintage photo in this case. So, today I am starting with these rectangle base pages. So I have cut out one of each of those, um, but I'm only going to um, do one side at a time. So I'm just going to put this one aside for now. So I have a base page. Then I have cut three of these pocket pockets and that's in this file here and it's the large bottom pocket which can also be used as a flip and is also the pocket for the envelope. So I've cut out three of those. I've also cut out this small flip um, or half belly band. I've just cut out one of those. So that's that one there. Then in the next file, here, I have cut out um, two of these side flips or pockets. So there's two of those already cut out and ready to go. And then I have also cut out two of these small bracket pockets and there's those there. So they're all the main pieces that I'm using and then I have also cut out all the mats ready to go. So here I have the mat for the, rect um, the rectangle base page and, and it's coming out of this file. So all the, all the files for the mats um, are in this light pink whereas the files for the actual pieces themselves are in the dark pink. So that's just to help you to be able to tell the difference. So I've got my um, mat for my base page and then I also have got two of the mats for the small flip here. So I've cut two of those out from this file. And then uh, I've cut out three um, mats for this large bottom pocket down here. So I've got three of those. And then I have got already cut out four mats for this um, big square um, side pocket or flip so I've cut out four mats for that so they're, they're all ready to go and finally I've cut out two of these little bracket um, 
mats, uh, bracket pocket mats, and that's those there. So I've cut out two of those. So I've, I've cut everything out. I've distressed all the edges. So hopefully it's just a matter of putting it all together. So now you've seen which files I've used and which pieces out of the files I've used. I'll put that aside. I'll put the mats to the side and we can start putting all of this together. So my plan is to use some pieces as flips instead of pockets. So what I've done is I have um, decided which tabs I'm gonna cut off each of the um, pieces and just put a little X on them just so that I remember which ones to cut off. So I'm cutting those tabs off there because, because I'm using it as a flip, I'm gonna use this tab, but I don't need these two, so I can cut those off there. And that, um, no, what for one of these, I also need to cut the side tabs off and I haven't put a little X on those to remind me to do that. So the reason I leave all these tabs on is just to make sure that, or just to make each piece as versatile as it can be so that you can do lots of things with it. So this could, this could be a flip um, if we cut off these tabs on the side and then it's a flip and just flip like this. Or if I leave these on, I can make it into a pocket like that. Um, so I've just left all those bits, those um, extra tabs on so that it just gives you a little bit more versatility. So I'm just going to get out my trimmer and trim off those pieces. Where's my trimmer? I could, I could do it with my scissors, but I'm not very good at cutting with scissors. I'm actually not very good at cutting with a trimmer either, but you know, it's a better chance that it's straight. So I'll just cut those two little tabs off and now that's a flip instead of a pocket. And the same with this one. It'll go from being a pocket to a flip if I just trim these little tabs off. And the last one. I don't know how straight that was. I can always fix it up with my scissors if I need to. Right, so I think that's all the trimming I need to do. Just cut a few little tabs off and I'm ready to go. So to start with, uh, these are gonna be flips on my page and I'm gonna have one coming from each side, just like this. One there and one here, just like that. So I'll just get out my glue and glue those on. So I am using Helma fabric glue. It's the easiest glue that I can find here in Australia that I think is probably most like um, Fabri-Tac. Now, I'm actually thinking that I might attach this to the side of my page rather than on the back, just because it makes that um, Bit, a little bit less bulky when I go to attach it to the binding. So wherever I can and wherever I remember, I do that. Especially because I'm matting um, everything, you won't see these little um, tabs because they'll be hidden under the mat that goes on here. So uh, yes, I'm gonna stick that straight on here. So I'm just gonna line it up. Along there. Make sure I'm happy with it lined up. And then I'm just going to use my bone folder just to really make sure that that glue is sticking it down. And then I'll do the same with this one. Just along here. This is a really easy page that we're doing today. It'll be quick. I'm just going to do the same thing, line that up, make sure I'm happy with it. It's all aligned. Once it is, just squish it down and just burnish along there to make sure that that glue has attached. So that's my plan so far. Then, 
I think I'm going to put my, my mat down on here next because I'm going to put a pocket on top and it's just much easier to put the mat down first if you know that's what you're doing um, than it is to try and shuffle it in later. So I'll just pop that on here. Somebody's mowing their lawn outside this morning. I can hear it. I hope you can't. And my dog is sitting out right outside the door. She wants to come in, but I kicked her out because she is snoring so loudly. So she's a little bit put out that I've thrown her out. Okay, so there's that mat there. So then I'm just going to attach this pocket down the bottom here. So I can do that now. I'm just going to see if I can burnish that a bit flatter. This um, paper um, brand I haven't used before and I'm, I'm not sure that I would use it again. It's a little bit too thick. But you live and learn. Oh, you know what? I've made a mistake. Oh dear, let's just pull this up. I don't want that top bit to be stuck down yet. So, because I want to put a little flap over here. So I'm just going to leave that bit up. We can leave this bit down. Okay, so, all right. Back in. Glad I thought about that before that glue dried completely. But I can't do a single video without doing a boo-boo. Every single time. Every single time. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that that closes. Yes, and that this closes. Yes, okay, so I'm just going to flatten that. Come back up here, don't you stick there yet. Okay, and then the second pocket, I'm also going to sit down. I'm just going to slide it in like that. So that the bottom is just um, tucked in there and it looks quite seamless. So I can do that. Come out. I'm just getting to the bottom of my glue. I do have another bottle though, so all is not lost. Okay, so I'm just going to slide this one in here. And line it up so that I'm happy with that. Make sure my door closes, yes, and this one. And okay, that'll do. Stick it down. And just check the door. And this one. Just need to, you know, it's getting a little bit thick on that fold. Now, up you come. With this one where I've cut those um, sides off and look, I have not um, remembered to do it every time. I've not remembered to distress around the edges of this piece. So let me quickly do that. I'm sorry, I try to remember, but I seem to complete, conveniently forget every time when it's a, um, when we're turning a pocket into a flip, I always forget to do the back side of the flip. So I'll just quickly go around there. I nearly had everything right, apart from my little boo-boo with the mat as well. Oh dear, never mind. Okay, so I'm going to attach this right up the top here so that it folds down and flips over like that and makes a little um, flat, flip flat thing at the top. I'm just going to turn that around so that I can stick it down and put some glue on here. Yeah, on this side. Uh, I'm pretty notorious for putting the glue on the wrong side of the tab as well. I mean, I could have stuck this over the top but 
so I guess I didn't stuff up completely. In fact, that's probably what I was thinking. So let's just make sure that that's lined up. Oops, what did I drop? Just my distress tool. Okay, so then that will fold over like that. So now I'm just going to put a little bit of glue back here again so that this mat will stick down again. I guess technically you could say that wasn't a boo-boo because I could have stuck it on the top, on the other side of the page. I'll just burn that down. And just wipe a bit of glue off. Okay, so that is like that. It looks nice. It looks nice. So then I want to put some of these little pockets here on each of these little fold outs like this. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be a tight squeeze. I must have put this over a little bit too much. Um, so I, I um, made these so that they could also be used as a waterfall. So I haven't cut that little bit off the corners of those, but I'm going to do that right now just to make it easier to attach. So I'll just snip those little edges off. Sorry, I don't know if I'm in frame. Just gonna snip a little corner off those and that one. So they're all ready to go. But I might put, do I want to put the mat down? Uh, yes, I can put the mat down on here. So what have we got here? If I put the mat down, then I can put my um, pocket straight over the top. So let's do that. Uh, after I finish this video, I think I need to go and have something to eat. I'm feeling a little bit hungry. Right, so I'll put that one down on here. Just like that. And the same on this side. tabs here and here, along there, and then get rid of that stringy bit, and then I'm just going to slide this one in here, the dog's banging on the door, she wants to come in. Now, I'm just going to make sure it's going to fold okay, I think it is. So, let's bring this down. Sticking out a little bit there. I'm not very happy with the way I did that. See that? Might just leave that to dry and then we'll worry about that later. They are a little bit close. So now I can do this one. bottom tab. Glue's a bit stringy at the bottom. Now I've now got it all over my fingers. 
see that? Stringy glue. Now I have got that right on the crease, so I'm a bit worried about that. I must say it's going to be a little tricky to fold. Um, and what I might do is just wait for it to dry before I fold it. So then I have these mats for here and for my bottom pockets I have these ones. So I might attach those. I was thinking I might put a little charm on that top for that. I, it can't be too chunky though because it's got to hide under these little um, side flips. I'll put this one here. Whoop. I definitely need to go and have something to eat because I'm getting a bit shaky. This one. See, it really comes together really quickly once you've cut all your bits out so you just you know once you've decided what you want to put on each page and just you know send it to, um, to cut on your cutting machine in my case my Cricut and then I just uh, distress all the edges and I usually do that while I'm watching something on TV because <laughs> it's a bit mind-numbing and then it's just so quick to put together. Okay, now I'm just going to leave that for a minute because I think I want to put something on there. But I'm, uh, I, think I might go with one of these little tassels again. I think that won't be too thick. So just get one of those out of here. I used these on another page and um, I thought they looked pretty cute. And I attached it with a brad, one of these Tim Holtz um, long fasteners. I really have a bit of a difficult time with these um, packages. I'll leave that. Oh, come on. Right, okay. And then... Um, there, I've got that one and that one. So I put the mat on this top page. And then we can put that little charm on and mat the back. And then we won't be able to see the little prongs from the brad. And pop that there like that. Now I want to put my... Oops, stuck to me. I want to put my little hole in the center. What do I do with my pencil? So I think about, let's have a look how long this little chap is. Yeah, I think about there, about here. So I don't have a crocodile, but I have this leather punch and it punches all different size holes. And I find that the small hole is really good for bread. So I'm just going to go in here and make a little hole. Sometimes I need, there we go. So then I can just attach this uh, little charm with this bread just through there and through the hole. Flip it over and make sure my little prongs are facing the way I want them to. Squash them down. Cool. Oh, look at that. I love that little tassel. Okay, so then I can put the... What have I done with the mat for that? Did I not cut one out? Maybe I didn't. I might have to come back and do that. Anyway, I need to put a mat on there. I can just do that later, you don't need to see that. So then I need to fold these over and I'm pretty worried about how well they're going to fold. Might just need a little bit of persuasion. 
and I'm going to put the mat on that one and I think I decided to go with this pink here so put this one on here oh, even through the door I can hear the dog snoring so I'm going to put that mat on here I might fold it out flat that might be a better idea So at the moment, all I'm doing is my pages. And then once I've finished my pages, I'm going to do my cover and then put the pages in my cover. But I haven't really managed to decide exactly how I want to do my cover. So I thought maybe I'll start doing the pages and it might give me an idea for my cover. So now I need to fold this one over again. Needs a little persuasion. And I'm going to put the mat on that. Oops. I'll just flip that over. And this one I'm using the butterflies. So put that one on here. Easy peasy. Now, I want to have this side coming over like this, and then this one coming over like this. And to hold this one down, I was going to use this little flip here and attach it on the side here like that. So what I'm gonna do is find the center of this page, because. I'm really not good at eyeballing. So it's, well that's easy, it's 20 centimeters long. So I'm just gonna put a little mark at the halfway point. And then I'm gonna find the halfway point of this little guy, the center mark, like that. So if I glue this tab on, Come on, glue. Here, I can just line those two little centre marks up and fold it over. <clears throat> and I'm just going to oh, make sure you don't burnish that down so it's stuck on good. Oh, glue came pouring out the side. So let's have a look at that. I'll just get glue off my phone folder. Okay, that's all right. It's um probably needs to be sort of flattened along here a little bit, I think. A bit of glue there. Right, so I think I'm just going to use my little Velcro dots that I've been using because I haven't been able to find any magnets. So that means then that I can easily um, mat both sides and then put the Velcro dots on afterwards. And then I'm going to come back later once I've put all the pages in the cover and do all my embellishing and most of my oops, inserts and photo mats and tags and things like that. I'll do that at the end. So, because this is a great spot to put something, an embellishment, I think. And then I'll put this one on here. And I'll just find my eraser and I'll just erase that little centre mark, just like that. And, oops. Then it's just this one here. Easy. And then, right, I'm 
just going to hold this down for a minute while I get myself sorted with my Velcro dots. So, uh, where are my dots? Where are my dots? Here they are. I would really like to have used magnets, but I use them all. So these are the, what I'm using. These are Velcro thin clear fasteners, and I do actually really like them. Um, so I'm going to put the clear one on here and this little white one on the inside so you don't see it so much. So I'll put this one on here right where I want it, try to, there, and then I'm going to put the clear one on top of it with the sticky side up, like that, so then, I'll just take this off so I can make sure it's nice and flat, and then when I flip this over and stick it down, it should hold it, and it does. So let's have a look at that then. This side is done, so just open this up and we've got to flip out this way and it flip out this way. We've got pockets here and pockets here, we've got a pocket here, we have a pocket here and when I um, when I finish the video I'll go and get a mat for that so that it looks good. But oh, it's such an easy little page and I think it's pretty snazzy. And when we get to the embellishing, I think it looks fabulous with something on here. So that's the front side of this page. So I'll just get my bits together for us to do the back side, which is even quicker and easier. So I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, I'm back and I've got um, the pieces cut out for the back side of this um, first front page that we've just done. And this one's really easy, but it's going to do a little two-part belly band with these little flips. So I'll show you that. So we've already cut out these rectangle base pages and we've already used this one on that front side of the page. So on this back side, we're going to use this one. And then from this file, we're just going to cut out two of these small flips just here. And that's those there. And then I've just gone and cut the mats for them already as well. So we'll go over here to the mat, sorry, and I've cut a, I love this beautiful paper, um, the mat for the rectangle base page and then um, I've cut four of these mats for that flip. So there's those four there. So it was, it's going to be really quick and easy. So let's get on and do that. So first of all, because we're using this as the base page, we don't need this long tab here. So I'm just gonna chop that one off. Right. Doing my best to line it up. I'm nowhere near it. Oh, oh dear. I really have the wobbles. So I have already inked the edges up here and so I'm just going to burnish these down again. But this paper is so thick. And all I'm going to do is attach these two as belly bands, one from the top and one from the bottom. And I think I'm just going to use another Velcro dot. So that's nice and easy. So I'm just going to find the centre again so that I can line my pieces up so i have got i might put it down here a little bit the midway point here and here and then the middle of this piece here whoops turn around this way it makes it a bit easier there and i might have i should have probably um that on this side. Silly me, I'll do it on this side. So I'm attaching this again, wrong way around. I'm attaching this to the actual page because the mat's going to go over the top and I just find it, it's um, 
sits much ni more nicely on the binding and sticking the pages together if I try not to put too much um, in between the pages or on the side where the um, hinge is going. So I'm going to put my glue on here. Um, of course, you know, it helps if you open it. <laughs> okay. And then I can see my little halfway point. Well, I can probably see it better from here. Is that about right? I think that's about right. I'll just make sure I'm happy with the way that's lined up at the top. A bit skewy. I'm going to flip it over and burnish that down. Just make sure that glue is really attached. And then this one, I'll do exactly the same thing. This is just a really quick page. And what I'll probably do is just line it up with this one up here. So just like that. Make sure it's lined up up here. Make sure they're both in line. Yep. And I'll just flip over. Just wash that down. Now all we need to do is just put the mats on. So let's just do that. I'm not sure which way up I should put this. That way. Raise those little dots that I put on there. There we go. And then I can put my mats on here. That's it. I tried to get the direction right. I'm not sure that I always have, but I did try. These two now. Wonder which way it goes. It's really hard to tell. This way, I think. Hopefully, nobody else will be able to tell either. That one and then this one. Pop that on there. And it's done. So now I'll just get out my little Velcro dots and I'll put this little white one up the top here and the clear one and move the sticky side up straight on top of it and then just flip it down and close it up and we're done fabulous now we can just stick this one to this one just like that so i just put some glue on these tabs to stick 
the two sides of the pages together because of course one of these open sides is going to be attached to the binding and the other one will be open so that we can put a side insert in. So I'll just line those two up. And this one. And I've got glue squishing out sides. Just stick those down. Give it a good press. Now, that was so quick that I thought maybe we could just do a little insert to go in here and underneath that um, belly band. So I'll put that aside to dry and while that's drying, we'll make a little insert. Right, so I've cut out some pieces to make a little insert. I'll show you what I've cut out from here. So from the base um, elements, I've cut two corner pockets, one going each way like that. So I've um, already distressed those. And then from this page, I have cut one of these little bottom pockets, which is this one here. And I've also cut two of these um, bottom pockets. These are bottom pockets as well. I've just fitted them on the page that way, but it's a bottom pocket. Although, you know, it could be a flip from the side, could be a flip from this side, could be a flip from the bottom, it could be a flip from the top. But today I'm going to make a little insert out of it. So I've actually cut two of those. So they're there. And then for the mats, I've just cut the mats that correspond with that. So I've cut two corners. Two corner mats, two corner pocket mats. Now, when I cut them on my Cricut, I made sure that I um, flipped one over so that they would be both um, to go in the corners like that. So I've got those two. And then we have um, four, four mats to go on these that um, I've cut out. So I've got one, two, three, four. So I've got four mats um, to go on these. So I've already cut those out. And then I have cut out two of these mats for that small bottom pocket because we're gonna make that into a flip. So there's those two there. So I've got all of those bits. So I'll put this away and I'll bring out my trimmer because I'm going to cut these short tabs off here. Oh, actually, I'm going to cut all three tabs off this one. Off this one, I'm only going to cut the top and bottom short tabs off because I'm going to join it to this to make a little booklet. This one, I'm going to cut the two short tabs off. And these two, I'm just going to leave them as they are. So I'll just quickly chop some little um, tabs off. these ones. So this is just an, another way of using your um, elements that are in the SVG files as something a little bit different. Just try and get as much use out of them as I can. I'll chop that long one off and both of these sides. And this is, this is a good idea for me, putting the cross on there because I get talking and then I forget which bits I'm cutting off and I cut off the wrong ones. Right, so I think that's all our trimming. I'll put the trimmer away. And I thought I'd just make a little booklet. So I'm going to attach this one to this one to make a little booklet like that. So I'll just put some glue down this tab. So I think it's pretty cool that you can make a booklet from the what are essentially um, pockets. And you could do it with all of the pockets. You know, you could have all sorts of different things, but I chose this one for now. Put that 
pattern on like that. And I'm just going to make sure that's stuck on nicely. Fold it up. And I might need to trim the edges a little bit because my trimming is not very good, but I can do that later. And then I want to use this as a little, um, a little flip that goes over here and holds it down together. I thought that would be kind of cute. It's almost like a little envelope. So I'm going to put some glue on this tab. There's a bit of um, really chunky glue, I'll just get rid of that. Okay, and then put that one on here. Like so. I just thought I'd pop these little corner pockets. But what I'll do is I'll put them. Oh, I might. What do I want to do? I think I actually would like to put a little. Um, um, closure here. So maybe before I mat it on the inside, I should do that. So what I might do is put the mat on here. I'll do that. Come on, come out. Whoops. Just slide that on there. Now, what should I do for a closure? I'm thinking that I might like to do a little, um, a brad with the little circles underneath um, that comes down and ties onto another one with a bit of seam binding. I think that's what I might do. Uh, so I might need to go and get those bits and pieces. So I shall just nip off and get that and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, thanks. Right, so I've just gone off and got some things to do, a little closure on our little insert here, and I realized that I didn't have any colored seam binding, so I quickly did a little bit of that. So I just buy white seam binding and um, where I can color it myself. So to color it, I have just used a one drop, really, of the um, distressing in picked raspberry and I have put that into my mini mister with some water and then just sprayed it on my seam binding and then I just dried it with my heat tool and I just sort of scrunched it up as I dried it so it looked a little bit scrunchy. So that's it. Now this is pretty bright. I sort of think that maybe um, the Victorian velvet might have been a better pink to go with but I don't have any of that, so I'm having to use what I've got. Okay, so I'm thinking I'll cut to a little circle with the brad in the middle. So I've just got a bit of scrap um, cardstock and I'm going to cut some circles with this Fiskars punch. And this is not an inch, it's less than an inch, but I'm not sure exactly what what diameter these um, little circles are. So I think I'll just cut four of those. I think that might be enough, two on each. We'll see, just pop that to the side. Then I'm just gonna glue those together. Um, so I'm just gonna glue, glue two together. Oh, that was a lot of glue for a little bit. I don't know if I just scrape a bit off. Oh. Pop that one on there. Like that. It feels pretty sturdy. And this one on here. Like that. Right. Now. 
punch a little hole in the middle. I'm just going to see if I can sort of mark the middle of one because um, once I get my punch in there, it's kind of hard sometimes to see the middle. So now I'm just going to punch a little hole with my leather punch. Crocodile would be good for this, but I think that's about the centre. Let's make them both the same. So now that I've done one, I'm just going to put a little mark there for the second one and then I can punch through there as well. Okay, now I think I'll just distress it a little bit. What have I done with my ink? What? Oh, there it is. Hiding. So I'll just distress around the edges of this a little bit. A little bit of definition. See, that's not in the centre. <laughs> Try as I might, it's a little bit wonky. Okay. So that's those two done. Now I'm just going to bring my little thing back here and I want to put one of these on here about there or maybe up a little bit about there how does that look yeah so I'll just gonna put a little dot there and I can put a hole in it with my punch just like that. And I didn't go all the way through. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to put one end of my seam binding through there. Just roll it up and poke it through. Try to. Oh, I can hear the dog snoring at the door. She may as well be in here. <laughs> so loud. Right, and I'm just going to unravel that on the inside. Come on. And drop a little bit of glue down on here to hold that down. doesn't need too much because I'm going to of course put the mat over the top so sorry I don't know whether you can see what I'm doing here just trying to unravel it from when I rolled it up and stick it down like that so it's coming through there and then I can put my brad through the hole in my little circle and then I can put whoop, that through the hole where the seam binding is as well like that and then whoop, it's kind of stuck there we go and I'll just uh, push the prongs down on there and that side is done Fantastic. Okay, now I need to put my mat on this side too. So I'm going to put this mat on here. And then I'm just going to do the same thing, but without the seam binding, so that it'll just wrap around underneath the little circle. Is that like a policy envelope? Is that how they do that? Am I talking about the right thing? I don't know. Anyway, so now I'm going to put this little fellow around about here, I suppose. And it's really hard for me to know if it's lined up. 
This one isn't even really lined up, Katie. Put a little dot there. Now, the question is, I'm not going to be able to get in there with my punch, so I'm going to have to use my awl. I'm just going to get my little mat out so I don't put a hole in everything. And I'm just going to stick a hole in here. Probably didn't even need the mat after all that. Okay. And then we can just put this little fellow in here. Oops, through my little, oops, <laughs> through my little hole, and then through this one, try to, come on, like that. Now, I wonder if that might want to be a little bit looser, so let's try. So if we drag this around here and around here, whoop. sorry, I don't know if I keep getting out of the frame, but it just needs to be worked a bit, I think. All right, I think that's pretty good, something like that. So then I'll just trim my seam binding off. I'll just mat it now. So I've got some mats for the inside here. So we'll just pop those on. And it's going to be a cute little inset. Get into a page a little bit like this actually. I don't think there's a direction here. Cover up that brad. I might need to put a little bit more glue there. Not quite. I don't think I've got enough glue. I'll put some around the brad. There we go. Some along here. There we go. Stuck down a bit now. This one. same thing and not put enough glue on that edge and put a bit of glue oh, come on I really should just swap bottles shouldn't I put some glue around there of course now it's going to ooze out give it a little squash there Lovely. Now I have those little corner pockets that I thought might go in here. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. One there. Why not? Let's do it. I've cut them out. They're ready to go. You know what? I'm just going to swap that bottle because that's getting a little infuriating or that shaking. New bottle. So I'm just going to put some glue on these tabs. Oh, that's so quick. Look at that. And just pop that in the corner. Like so. Make sure I'm happy with the way that's lined up. And then the same with this side. And this one. I was 
spent more time doing the insert than the page took. Oh well. It's all good fun. Make sure that closes. Slip that down. And then I have got some mats for those. So we'll just quickly put those on. One on here. last bit is a little mat on here so I have got some more music again I don't know which way it goes I think that way now I'll just make sure this is the bottom yes this is the bottom pop that on there and that's it so here's our little insert Cute. So we can put some, um, we'll make some things to go in here later, I think. But for now, oh, I think it's a bit tighter than I thought it was going to be. For now, we'll just um, pop it in the page just like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, so if I bring my page back, we've got this side. But I was thinking that this little fellow would look nice under here. You can't really see, can you? But we know what's there. There we go. Maybe we'll put it in another page at a later stage, but for now, that's it. So there's another page. So it's just a really simple belly band here, which we'll um, do some embellishing on later with a snazzy little insert. And then on the other side of that page, we have this little um, flip out here and with a flip on each side with the pockets, pocket here and a pocket here, with a cute little flip, which I'm going to go in the mat now, and a little charm. So that's another page done. So I thank you very much for joining me today while we did this page and the little insert. And I hope you join me again for the next page that I'll be doing in this mini album. As I said, if you're interested in the SVG files, I've put the link in the description box below. And it would be fabulous if you subscribed to my channel for any future videos and gave me a thumbs up. Okay, thanks very much. I'll see you again soon. Bye.